so welcome to lesson 34 yeah this is lesson 34 and i'm sure you are seeing a new keyboard right <laughs> it's a new machine so i just got this i just got this one new actually um so if you're if you're just watching this video for the first time you're welcome i remain my humble self i'm with bright aka bright keys i'm a gospel artist music minister songwriter voice music and voice coach so we've been running down a series of keyboard training so today is lesson 34 and in the last class, I was telling you that um, you could, uh, how you can use your both your left hand and the right. No, we are, we are on chords now. We are dealing on chords, right? So you can use your, I was telling you for the beginners, intermediate, I was telling you you could play like this, you know, that in the, in the, in the left hand, instead of playing like this, yeah, instead of playing this, you go, instead of do me so, the same thing with the right hand this left hand can play and this this one is the matured chord i told this one is the more advanced chord than this right one so what you can do is just play your, your right hand right your right, right play this and i told you you can use this as a side right see i i i hearing it This is your song. Hey, Ola. Hey, your T. Remember, I told you T is a different chord. When you are playing your T, you will not play like the normal chord. You play T, so T, T, so T, you will play. So this is what you can be doing as chord exercise. I told you you can do this as chord exercise. So if you are watching this video and you don't understand what I'm sharing, I have done the explanation, I've done the preview, and I've done the, the I've given the breakdown in my lesson 30, 33, lesson 32, lesson 31. So this, this is just the explanation of, the, of what I did. So you can go back and watch the video. Everything is on YouTube. So this one is lesson 34. So you could do this and practice this, you know, with your... So instead of your, your high right hand playing this, let your right hand play. When you play do, play do. Do so do, de re, re la re, mi, mi ti mi, fa, fa do fa, then so, so re so, la, la mi la, si, then t is different, t is, t so t, then go back to do. Hope you understand that right so um now also uh, we're, we're also teaching talking about um we're also learning about um how we can use chord one chord four and chord five everything is in lesson 33 lesson 30, lesson 32 lesson 31 lesson 30 just start working from lesson 30 so i've done everything i'm just giving you a breakdown i'm giving you a breakdown of it so we're also talking about how we could use your chord one your chord four and chord five to play songs right in their inversion I told you that I'm going to be giving you instead of playing like for example we are singing, are singing, um, you you are highly lifted up. There is no instead of playing your fa, instead of playing your fa here, because this one you are leaving this you could you could play everything together. You get you could play the fa in this place, same place same same position. So this falado, right? Falado. Let's say this. You are highly lifted. Or this is your do. do. There is no. This falado. So instead of coming here, you could play the you could play the um the third inversion of this. The third inversion of this would be this is second inversion. La do fa. Second inversion. Then do fa la. This is third inversion, right? So this do fa la. So why can't you play us play the do fa la here instead of playing it here? You bring it here. You see, 
So instead of playing, you come, you do. Instead of playing fa la do, you play do fa la. You've gotten it already. So we have Jehovah lifted up. There is no. See, I played already. I played the fire. There is no one like you. Let's do it again. You are There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, 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 halle. Now, instead of playing the saw here, instead of playing the saw here, hmm, you could. I told you that you could play everything in one spot. So instead of playing saw here, this saw tire is the first inversion. You could play the second inversion all in one spot in the same place where do is. You could play everything in one spot. See, so, so play the second inversion now. Second inversion will be si re so, si re so. so you bring it here. Instead of, instead of so, ti re, yeah, you play the second inversion. Ti re so, so ti re so, yeah, will be what? Look at it. Ti re so. Remember, I told you the same thing. Ti re so, you see? So everything in the same space. Instead of going. You are highly lifted up. There is no. This is falado. You don't need to come to. You don't need to play this one. Just play the third inversion of falado, which is do fala. Do fala is the same thing right there. So you play. You see, and instead of playing your song, yeah, jumping from one key. This one is jumping from one chord like this. It's going to take your time and it's going to waste time. It's going to really waste time because you'll be looking for your fa. Where your fa? Where is your so? So you, it's better you play everything in one spot. Hope you are getting it. So it's better you play everything in one spot. You see? So this is so tire. You could play the third, the third version will be tire so, so tire so. Um, um, I, I don't want you to get it confused or get it twisted. Do, if, I'm using, if I'm using my hand like this. Remember I told you that when you are playing the root chord, the root chord, so tire, you must follow the prescribed order. You must follow the principle. This principle is your one, your three finger, your five finger. Right? You must follow it. But if you are playing the second inversion, the second inversion does not give a prescribed order. It does not, it does not necessarily say that you must use this. The second inversion is, you could, you could play, you could play like this. You could, you could also follow the, the principle, the same hand, the same fingering hand. Or you could change it how you are convenient or how convenient you are for you. But the, the root or the first note, the first inversion, you must use your one, three, five. So you can either play the second inversion like this or like this. If any anyhow is convenient for you. The reason why there is no prescribed order for the second and the third inversion is because look at it. Look at it now. The thing, the thing, the, this is this is the re, you could do like this. You could do like this. One, this is you can see one space here. There's two spaces. So. Look at look at the difference. So you can play it anyhow you want to. You can you, even like this. The third inversion. So, but you must follow the one in the beginning. So let's go. This is where we will stop for the lesson um, 34. So you can rehearse everything I just showed you. So I will see you in my lesson 35, right? Yeah.